The DWR is adding some more ammunition in keeping the invasive quagga mussel out of Utah. A new decontamination tank is now up and running at Willard Bay. New specialist Mike Anderson has a look at why DWR biologists say they are faster and more effective than other methods. The idea is to make the process less onerous so that more boaters get it done. They can simply back in here and be on their way within minutes. Sometimes good ideas are born of frustration. Everybody's tired, they had lots of sun, and so we would get in line to go get decontaminated and inspected. Garrett Adwood says he, along with friend and now business partner Jonas Haita, noticed their trips to Lake Powell would all end the same way. And the lines get long and it, it's, you know, you just don't want to sit there. And then by the time you do get up there, it takes like an hour. So they came up with this, a dip tank to decontaminate boats and kill quagga mussels. Boaters can back into the water, running it through their system for only minutes before heading back out. And we have the confidence in knowing that we have more completely and thoroughly eliminated that threat of quagga mussels. Lieutenant Bruce Johnson over DWR's Aquatic Invasive Species operations says that speed and efficiency is important in helping boaters act responsibly. Water is one of our most important resources and if we lose that battle with quagga mussels, we're going to have plugged water lines, infrastructure. And most boaters want to keep our waters clear of quagga mussels too. There are now five of these tanks statewide with one more on the way at Flaming Gorge. Most of these decontaminations that we're doing in the dip tank are targeting the villagers. However, the 110 degrees at a five minute exposure will 100% kill uh, adult quagga mussels as well. Along with that better sense of security, Atwood says he's been pleased to see how much tanks like these have been improving the responsible boater experience. It's nice to see that it's fast. There's not a line. There's usually a queue of maybe one or two boats on a busy day and they get you in and out of there in you know 10 minutes. And a couple more tips from DWR biologists. If you drop an anchor at Lake Powell, don't bring it inside your boat. It can get quagga mussels on your life jackets and other items. And take out your sea strainer afterwards. Let it dry completely. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.